Just a quick update guys, uh, I've sold both cars in one week, uh, which generated a total of £3,602. Very lucky this time because I normally don't make this much profit off just two cars. Um, and the other thing is the RCZ went up in value since I bought it last summer and that definitely helped with the margins. First, I sold the iX35. Um, I had a few inquiries through AutoTrader, but because I was away, um, they couldn't wait then. They bought another car by the time I got back. Um, also had a few inquiries on Facebook Marketplace, but most of them were just time wasters. Um, but one day, a lady messaged me. I assume it was this guy's wife. Um, and they asked me, can we come and see the car tomorrow? I was like, okay. But I didn't have any other questions. They just wanted to see the car. So we arranged an appointment for 10.30 in the morning. Um, they got there on time. When he got off the car, he was very pleased with the condition of the car. He liked it. Um, and he told me he wants the car before he even took it for a test drive. So I think this was one of the, my quickest sales ever. So I insisted to take the car for a test drive. He drove it, he liked it and he said to me that he likes everything about the car but he won't be able to take it on that day so i requested a 300 pounds deposit which he paid straight away and he told me that he can come and collect the car the next day uh, in the meantime i told him about the warranty that can be uh, extended up to three years at which point he said yes but it will he will have a think he'll talk to his wife first um, Later in that evening, he told me that he's not um, interested in the extended warranty. He's happy with the six months. And the next day before they got here, we arranged a thing for 5 p.m. Uh, so before they got here, they cleared the funds. Uh, we just changed, the, uh, we got here, we, got, we just changed the ownership and that's it, job done. One of the easiest sell ever. And they didn't try to negotiate on the price. They were really, really nice people. At the end of this video, I'm gonna go through the breakdown of how much the cars costed me and how much I spent. The next day after I sold the iX35, uh, well this was on a Thursday, on Friday uh, we went to Wales or near Wales for my girlfriend's birthday. We rented a nice lodge there so we spent a few days there. Uh, while I was there I got a, quite a few inquiries uh, on Facebook marketplace mainly, uh, but they were just, just time wasters to be honest with you. Then someone uh, in his 70s messaged me that he's very interested um, about the car and I told him politely that I was away that weekend but I'll be back on Sunday afternoon. Uh, he insisted to see the car on Sunday afternoon uh, so he gave me his phone number and told me to give him a call if I get home early. Um, so that's exactly what I did. I called him when I was like an hour away and told him that I'll be early, but not sure how early, it depends on the traffic. So I got home, um, I called the guy and I just give the car a quick clean using just um, just some brain dead uh, detailing wash and wax and followed by a Meguiar ceramic detailer, so just to make the car pop. Um, so they came down, they looked at the car, they liked it, they liked the combo with the white interior. Um, so they checked everything on the car, the guy knows a little bit about cars and uh, they said if they can take the car for a test drive down the road. At which point I insisted to take the car on the motorway to get the feel of the car to see if they're happy with everything. Okay, when we got back um, the lady was a little bit into negotiating, she didn't want to pay the full price but fair enough, I've done a mistake on my ad. Um, I've advertised the car for 82,000 miles, that was when I first put it up for sale, but I've used the car and the mileage went up almost 84,000, which fair enough, um, I accepted that and I dropped the price a little bit, I think by 250 pounds if I'm not, if I'm not wrong. Um, also I offered to give them a free delivery, the next day delivery, um, so the next morning I just got the paperwork ready. Um, everything that belongs to the car, dropped the car to their place which was like 20 minutes away, um, we changed the ownership, he paid for the car in full and that's it, job done. Next we're gonna go over the breakdown um, on the Hyundai iX35 
I paid 2,700 pounds. Delivery cost me 12 pounds, so I had to take an Uber and go and collect the car. Under the service, well, this is not a service, it's the bodywork. Uh, I paid 600 pounds to get the car painted because it had scuffs and deep scratches pretty much all over the body. Uh, the warranty cost me 121 pounds. Uh, the advertising costed me 110 pounds and the car owes me 3,543 pounds. I put it out for sale for 4,795 and it sold for 4,795 which gave me a profit of 1,252 pounds. The car had 9 months warranty and I didn't have to do any other things on it because it came with a 12 months advisory free MOT and the mechanics done all the work that needed to be done on the car. Uh, the Peugeot, I paid again £2,700 for it, delivery cost me £70, uh, the service cost me £770, uh, it needed 4 new tyres, a full service, coil spring, um, the bodywork needed some work as well, painted one wing, wing and um, all the new spoiler. The advertising cost me £260 because the advert expired so I had to renew it. Uh, so another car owes me £3,800 and I sold the car for £6,150 which I made a profit of £2,350. The car had 9 months uh, MOT and that's it pretty much. That's it for today. If you liked the video please subscribe. Uh, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.